I'm Lee Mosley. I'm an associate professor at the University of Nebraska Medical Center in the Department of uh, Pharmacology and Experimental Neuroscience. Um, I received my bachelor's and master's degree from the University of Oklahoma in microbiology. I went to the University of Tulsa and got my PhD in immunology and postdoc at the uh, University of Michigan. Um, our research addresses the role of the immune system in Parkinson's disease, how the immune system affects Parkinson's disease. We find that in Parkinson's disease that the inflammatory response uh, plays a significant role in progression of the disease. Um, in many of our models we can find that 90 percent of the neurons uh, that uh, die and Parkinson's disease are due to this uh, secondary neuroinflammation. So our goal is to look at how the immune system is affecting this disease progression. Uh, we have um, two types of uh, T-cells that are involved in this. Uh, one is an effector T-cell which tends to uh, exacerbate the lesion the other is a regulatory T cell which tends to control the uh, progression of the disease. So for as to the latter, we're actually looking at ways that we can boost that uh, regulatory response and, and quell the neuroinflammation. We're doing this via a vaccine approach or immunotherapeutic approach such that we can either boost the activity of these regulatory T cells or uh, increase their number such that they will uh, diminish the progression of the disease. The other uh, branch that we're looking at is looking at how this effector T cell population will um, increase or exacerbate the progression of the disease. And this is the crux of uh, most of my uh, current research uh, that I am doing. So graduate students uh, play a very unique role in this process. Um, graduate students uh, offer us a fresh perspective when they come into the lab. They basically come in as an empty vessel. Um, they come in with not very much experience in the way that uh, people do science. They've had uh, some science courses, some laboratory courses uh, in their uh, training. Um, what we find is that after about a year, they really begin to start taking on uh, the laboratory routine. They start to know how uh, science is done and how to address science. Um, so they tend to uh, eventually, they learn a lot about their projects that they're doing, and they begin to start seeing uh, the, the questions that we're asking from uh, with new eyes. So they bring to us eventually a uh, fresh perspective by which we can actually look at different questions. They learn how to troubleshoot these uh, uh, experiments that they're doing. They learn how to uh, expand uh, the experiments that, from what uh, the uh, principal investigators have laid out. And that's the big joy that uh, graduate students bring to, uh, to these laboratories.